I finally got myself a video camera. A cheap Canon Legria HR R46. I don't recommend it, it's pretty horrible. But the quick picture quality is alright for the money. So I just thought I'd do a quick video. I've got a customer's computer here that I'm going to just do a simple reinstall on, reformat the hard drives and get Windows up and running on it. But uh, I thought I'd show you the amusing bias on this thing. It's some older ASUS motherboard, but you have an, have an option for microcode updation and CPU core activation where you can turn off cores you don't like. Might as well take a look inside while we're at it. It's an older AMD machine, I think it's got a Phenom 955 CPU and 8 gigs of RAM and some graphics card GTX what's that? 460 decent enough not the newest thing two hard drives, one 250, one 320 gig and a CD drive and some unknown cooler master power supply complete with blue LED fans woohoo not too bad of a machine. Probably worth a couple of bucks to get running again. I'm not entirely sure what the customer managed to do with it, but uh, it had like a really bare bones Windows install on it that was kind of broken. It had a million different drivers installed, so I'm just gonna go ahead and new kit and reinstall from scratch. And with a bit of luck it would run. I've taken a look inside the power supply and it's got no bad caps and you can't really make out any bad noise or anything like that. No, is there anything looking bad on the motherboard? It seems to have all solid capacitors. Pretty nice motherboard if you ask me. Micro ATX. Either way, <coughs> let's get on with the Windows install. Anti surge support. If enabled, system will have under voltage protection or over voltage protection function. Can't have everything. Right, so this is one of the really stupid things about Windows 7. This little uh, bo extra boot petition that it requires. Because if you've got uh, two hard drives installed like, uh, like this computer has and you want to have everything on one drive you don't get to choose where it goes. Like if I make a new partition on disk zero because I want to use that yeah it will form up the entire drive but if I make a new partition on drive disk one it will give me that bull crap and that makes a little 100 megabyte partition on d disk 1 but <laughs> I want to install Windows on disk 0 and I, I can't get the little boot partition onto that drive without disconnecting it physically I literally can't there's no way to do it in this UI Just makes me wonder what Microsoft were thinking. Oh well. I guess I'll have to take this thing apart again. There we go. Windows all installed, all drivers set up, updates installed, software installed, UAC disabled, stuff like that. Just got to do a quick BIOS update by pressing a stupid combination on the keyboard let's see if it works nope <laughs> good going Asus 
guess I'll have to do it from the BIOS. You're a little grow to appreciate SSDs once you <laughs> stumble upon one of these things with a mechanical hard drive. And man, waiting for something like this to boot, and it's got a like decently quick processor. A Phenom. Phenom 2 955, I think. And 8 gigs of RAM, so it's definitely hard. Definitely a hard drive bottleneck. Come on. Right, let's try again. Let's go into the BIOS. Oh yeah, that, this is a bug in the BIOS, there's no password set, so it still asks for this question even if it's disabled, and you just have to enter it away. Anyway, should have a... Should have some kind of BIOS update thing here, somewhere. I hope we have one. No, don't seem like it. Great. Alt F2. Come on. Okay. <laughs> That's just great. Yeah, the customer's coming in like half an hour, so I guess I'm just gonna pack this thing up and <laughs> not install a new BIOS since I don't know how I'm supposed to do it since ASUS don't provide you with any kind of DOS utility or something like that. You just get the BIOS file. That's the only download you get. So, yeah. I suppose this one will have to survive on its ancient bias. Again, whoever built this computer kind of goofed up because they never installed the I.O. shield properly. So these two USB ports are almost not usable and, and I don't know about the HDMI. But yeah, I can't be bothered to take the motherboard out of this thing and fix it. I'm doing it fairly cheaply. It did need a good blowout though, and it's a lot happier, I can tell you that. Oh well, let's, let's get this thing packed up and ready to go. Yeah. I guess that's how you install a computer. Not much to say about it. Wow, did it get quiet in here. Cheerio. P.S. I managed to use some force to get the I.O. shield in place without taking the motherboard out and... Well, it's not perfect, but now you can at least kind of shove something in there without feeling like you're going to break it in half. Yeah, yeah, I suppose. <laughs> 